Jen and I'm excited to share with you another uh, release from Alta New. This is their September release and I have a few things that I want to play with from it to create a 12 by 12 scrapbook layout today. So I'm going to be using the Tall Alpha Die, which I just love. This is a great size. They have a stamp set that looks similar to this as well. Um, but I'm going to use this. I'm also going to use the Flower Garden 6x8 stamp set. Look at all those gorgeous florals. I cannot wait to stamp these and I'm going to color them in. So pretty. Love the kind of illustrated style of them. Very cute. And then I'm also going to use the Faceted Stars background stamp. So um, those are the stamps and dies that I'll be using. And I'm gonna scrap with this uh, picture of my daughter on the first day of school. And I'm starting with a 12, well, this is a 12 by 18 piece of watercolor paper. I'm gonna cut it down to 12 by 12 because I wanna do a lot of watercolor on the background. So I'll go ahead and put you on fast forward and talk you through the process. All right guys, so like I mentioned, I'm gonna cut this watercolor paper down to 12 by 12 and I'm going to start by stamping that faceted stars stamp set on my background. And I love using stamps like this for a background. And I'm not even going to use a block to stamp this because really all I want is some texture. So I'm just stamping it down randomly. And I'm going to do that in a few different places with some Versamark ink to um, heat emboss this. So I'm using some white heat heat embossing powder and I will heat set that and I'm going to add watercolor over it. So this is a technique that I have done often and in fact in a couple days I have a blog post over at Alta New with a video where I use the same technique again with the same stamp set but <laughs> um, it just works really well and the stamp set works really well for it. So I'm using my Ranger heat gun to just melt all that powder. You can see it kind of getting shiny and smooth. Heat embossing never gets old to me. It's always magical. Anyway, while I'm while this is heating up, I just wanted to mention that this is part of a blog hop with lots of giveaways. So be sure to head over to my blog, which will be linked in the video description so that you can check out that information. So I'm gonna use my Altenew 36 pan watercolor set and I'm just doing some light color on the background so I did like kind of a soft pink and I added some yellow to it and then I'm going to add some really soft kind of like aqua blue and so it's a very subtle look but when you see it the layout in real life you can you can see kind of the prettiness that it adds to the background and in the close-up photos at the end you'll be able to see it as well but it is hard to kind of, uh, I mean, it, you can see it in the video now, but it does dry a little bit lighter. And so that's just something to keep in mind. You could go definitely go more bold. And in my next video, I do go more bold. Um, that video will only be on the Alta New uh, YouTube channel, though. So if you aren't subscribed, be sure to head over there and subscribe. So I'm using the leftover watercolor paper to stamp this uh, lovely, or I can't remember what it's called, something peonies maybe? No, something florals. <laughs> I said it at the beginning, I'll have everything linked in the video description. I wanted to stamp all of these flowers and color them and cut them out, so I just decided to tape the entire stamp set to my stamp press, and I am going to ink this up again in Versamark ink because I'm going to heat emboss this in gold. So I'm just kind of trying to arrange my magnets so that it's not hitting the stamp set and I'm just going to stamp this down. I think I stamp it twice just to be sure since there are so many stamps on there. Maybe I don't. I'm just I guess I'm just leaning over to look. Oh yeah I do. Anyway so I will stamp this twice just to make sure I have all of the all of the all of my bases covered really. And then I will sprinkle on, what I'm using here is Princess Gold Embossing Powder from Ranger. And I will sprinkle that off. Just making sure I get all of the spots that I want. If there's ever any spots that you 
get that you didn't want embossed, you can just use a paintbrush, a dry paintbrush, to kind of brush away the powder where you don't want it. And that's what I'm doing there. So it's a, an easy way to kind of fix any mistakes that you might have. But you could definitely use an anti-static powder to help with that. So again, I'm just heating those up. I love watching the gold emboss. It's just pretty and <laughs> magical. I still love it. If you have any friends who have not embossed before that are crafters, show them embossing because it's just fun. It's just a magical little thing. So the thing I love about heat embossing images and when I want to color them in is that the heat embossing kind of raises the edges of the lines and it helps contain the liquid or the the color and so it makes it a little bit easier to kind of um, keep it in the lines even though sometimes I still go out of the lines so what I'm doing is I'm adding some water and then I'm just lightly dabbing some of these watercolor brush markers into some of the spaces and so I'm using I think rubolite for the for that bright pink center. Um, I have the Spring Garden set of these Altenew watercolor brush markers and they are gorgeous. And I'm adding a little bit of yellow around the edges. I love um, kind of blending two colors like that, especially pink and yellow on flowers. I just think it's pretty. So um, I'm just, uh, sorry it's cut off a little bit at the bottom. I wanted to zoom in to show you the coloring and there I moved it a little bit. So for the leaves, I'm actually using a little bit of limeade and then um, I can't remember what the green color is called, but I'm adding just the slightest bit of dusk at the bottom, which is a blue color, and it just kind of gives it a darker shadow at the bottom. So here they are all colored in. I didn't make you watch me color all of them, but I did some orange and yellow and I did some pink and yellow and then I cut them out. So I think that this stamp set has a coordinating die, but I don't have it. So I just uh, fussy cut them out, which I like fussy cutting. So that doesn't bother me, but I'm just trying to decide how I want to arrange these now. And I'm thinking maybe I will do them on a diagonal, some on the bottom left, and some on the top right so that's kind of what I'm playing with right now and I am just arranging them all and I re actually really like that arrangement but I decide to go ahead and add them all over to the right hand side of the photo and that's partially because I wanted some of that background to show that I heat embossed which you can barely see now in the video but it is really pretty and uh, I like the way that they look all kind of on the right side and that's not something that I always do so I thought it would be a nice change so I wanted to die cut these letters and for my title but I wanted it to match those flowers exactly so I'm just using those same colors that I used to paint the flowers to kind of make a um, just on a scrap of watercolor paper just make a background color that I could die cut from. So I'm using Autumn Blaze and Rubolite and just kind of adding the color on, not worrying too much about what it looks like because I'm just going to die cut out of it. So um, I'll heat set that so because I'm just lazy and I can't wait for it to dry. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing there is just drying it up and then I will uh, cut out my title and it's going to be 8th grade cutie. So I'll just get all of those letters and cut those out and obviously some of the letters are duplicated so I will just have to cut them multiple times but I'm going to go ahead and stick this through my die cut machine and then what I do is I, cu I cut uh, three or four more of each letter and glue them on top of each other and this is something I do often to create kind of a chipboard look and I love the way that these tall alpha dies uh, look when you stack them up like this and so I'm just finishing gluing all those together now I'm using my favorite Nuvo deluxe adhesive for that I really like that glue and the I like the letters because they have just a little bit of they're not a flat color which I like because they because they have the watercolor texture and they match those flowers just right so I love uh, using that 
technique of just painting a random scrap of paper to create the um, pattern from which I die cut. <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and glue those down. I think I'm, oh, I'm taking a photo of the arrangement of my flowers because I'm worried about uh, not figuring out how it goes again. And I like the way it looks. And then I decide to just put my photo on a white I wanted to give it a white border just to help it pop out a little bit and it's something I often do in fact I often print my photos with a white border but I didn't for this one so I just added one with some uh, cardstock that I had and now I'm going to place that on the background and start adhering my flowers down so I will pop some of these up so I'm putting the pieces down that I know are going to be tucked behind uh, that will not be popped up. I'm putting those ones down first and then after I have those adhered I will add the ones that I am going to kind of pop up. So I don't think I referred back to my photo that I took. I just kind of left them in place as I was gluing things down kind of. Um, so it doesn't end up exactly the same but it's good enough. I'm just using some th kind of thin foam adhesive tape here to uh, add dimension to some of those flowers and I like adding fo thin foam because it like I said it adds dimension but it's not too dimensional um, and I like that so you can see some of my leaves are lighter and some of them are darker I like to have a variation just because I feel like that's how it would be anyway I mean all leaves aren't the same and um, so I like having some pops of the kind of brighter green and then some of the softer green and I just made sure I kind of mixed those up so there wasn't too much of the bright or too much of the soft green on one spot. So here I have my title kind of where it wants to go and I'm thinking about adding some of those butterflies but I decide against it and I'm just going to arrange my title so that I can get it glued down. Um, you can cut this out with adhesive, like if you wanted to use an adhesive backed cardstock or something like that, or you could even cut those out of fun foam um, and then you would have a sticker rather than having to glue them all down. But it doesn't bother me. I like doing stuff like that, just gluing stuff down. So um, yeah, it didn't bother me at all. I thought I would use some of those wood buttons. Those are from the Live Your Dream scrapbook collection, but I decided against that as well. And here I am gluing down that title and I will save you from watching me glue down every single letter. I printed off some journaling and I'm just cutting it out here. And I decide instead to, of cutting this into strips, which is what I would usually do, I just cut it into like a little banner shape. And I am going to glue that to the left hand side of my photo and I decide to use a little piece of washi tape. Uh, this is one of the th thick washi tapes that Alta New sells. I decided to add a little piece of that to the f like the flag part of my banner just to add a little pop of gold because I have so much gold going on with the embossing on the flowers so I just wanted to bring a little pop of that here. Um, I popped up just the ends of that banner and tucked the rest underneath my photo. Um, I was trying to use a Tombow mono sand eraser to just get off a little smudge that I had and now I am going to stamp my date and I'm going to use stays on ink because some of it's going over that embossing and so I just wanted to use um, that to make sure that it it went where it was supposed to. So I'm going to add some splatters with this Alta New Antique Gold Mist and I just shook it up and I'm just adding some kind of small splatters all around. I kind of wish I had just left it to the um, flowers but I did it more places and that's fine. <laughs> um, so now I'm thinking about adding a little strip of something at the top just to kind of fill that space and um, this paper always works for me, that polka dot. In fact, uh, the next layout that I create, one of the next layouts I create, 
is using that same polka dot as well. And I don't even care. It just works for everything. And, and that doesn't bother me that I've used it so many times just for a little border like this. So I'm just distressing the edges of it with some scissors. That's from the Alta New Live Your Dream scrapbook collection. I'm adding that at the top and it is the kind of perfect finishing little detail there. And then I'm also going to add some staples. So I'll just add those um, onto that strip and then I also add a little tab I think is what I find or some sort of word strip I'm looking through my live your dream embellishments here just trying to figure out like maybe something that I could add and I found that cute little orange I think it says celebrate today or something and I'm going to use it kind of as a tab at the top so I will glue that down and then I'm also going to add some staples to that and that is going to complete this layout. So I have some close-up photos coming up so that you can see all of those gorgeous uh, watercolory details on the flowers and on the background and I just want to remind you again to head over to my blog at craftygenscow.com where you can find all of the other people in the blog hop and you can there are so many chances to win gift certificates to Alta New. Uh, so definitely check that out. And I hope that you'll join me again here soon. Here are a couple other videos that you might like that I've created for Alta New. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I've linked to all available products in the video description. Thanks so much for stopping by and I hope to see you again very soon.